What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Nita on Gem Grab Chill Cave. Now I wanted to thank you guys for the 10,000 subscribers. I'm trying to think of a special, I don't know yet what I want to do, so if you guys have any ideas, put it down in the comment section below. But yeah guys, thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribers, you know it's been awesome, it's been super fun making these videos, and hopefully I can continue doing it for a long time. But with that being said, we're going to be playing some Nita here, we're playing with Brayden and Slash, we're going to try and go... Four or five games, hopefully we can win them all, hopefully we can face some good teams. But with that being said, let's jump right into the first game. Alright, so here we go into the first game. So you're going to be facing a Penny, a Barley, and a Tara. So let's talk a little bit about this map because I haven't covered it in any other vids. So this map, Barley and Penny are a super, super, super meta. Uh, probably the best mids. If you're good with a Gene, you can probably get away with a Gene mid on this map. But Penny is super good here. And I'll tell you why. So basically, best lane here, Barley. And what does Barley do? He basically hides behind a wall. And he does nothing. Also, nobody roasts me over auto-aiming with Anita. Like, it's Anita, so don't don't, don't give the big roast. But anyways, um, yeah, so Barley just stands behind a wall. Doesn't really do much. And everyone knows the best part about Penny is her Penny turret. So basically, what you're going to do is just put that Penny turret down in a place where they can't hit it. And you're just going to destroy with Penny because there's such thin lines. You can see where Slash is. It's two tiles to hide in, so there's nothing there. There's two tiles to hide in here, and then there's like three tiles on this side. So there's nowhere really for people to go. And that is just why Penny is super dominant. Now, Barley, of course, is super good because there's a bunch of walls. Even though we are destroying that, Barley is probably just not too good. Um, but yeah, that's why part Barley and Penny are the two best on this map. You know, Barley just OP with the walls. Hopefully we can get some good gameplay of Slash being OP, because they're probably not going to be facing the best of Barleys, because we're just going to be destroying them. But yeah, that is why Barley lane and Penny mid is the best. Now we're going to go into the next game, and I'm going to explain what the best third lane option is and explain why. So here we go into the second game now let's talk about the best lane so you got a few options on this map and i'm going to talk about a couple of them but obviously there's the main one and it is likely the brawler who i'm playing right now so the best option i think is nita and let's cover why i think oh kang is just going to come up to us and auto aim well, shout out to king garmo the best player that just constantly plays with randoms i don't know why he does it he's an absolute god so we're just going to get off his lane because we are a little bit countered there but anyways i think it's nita now we're going to talk about that a little bit after oh we're so going down here Oh, 100%. Hopefully we're going to back up that Crow, though, so that when we're back, we can have some good position. But the reason it's Nita is because, you know, nothing really counters Nita. Um, you can you can just be super solid. You know, nothing's really going to hurt you too much. Um, you know, you don't really have a direct counter. You know, like a Frank has a Shelly that counters it. Crow has Pam that counters it. Those are direct counters. And there are some soft counters, like Crow, like... Um, Barley like isn't too good against the crow for example or like a Rico isn't too good against the Colt When there are no walls, but those are like soft counters. It's not something that directly counters super super hard I hope we can get that Poco. Oh, I healed just in time. Oh, I thought we got around that wall But anyways, that's why I think he's the best now the other good options are like Leon who has a sneak ability But Nita is also super good against Leon's and then you got like a, like a spike which is super good and Spike might be a good option if you're a really good Spike player, but it's definitely not the best option if you're just the casual. Nita's the best just because nothing counters it. There's a lot of walls, and Nita can kind of like shoot around walls to say. We're going to go down over there to King Garmo. Very OP player. Uh, but yeah, you can like shoot around walls, as you can see. Like, you don't... It, it's like a little bit weird with Nita, her shots, to be honest. But yeah, that's just how she is. Oh, why is King Garmo in there? I'm gonna hide behind our bear over here. I'm just gonna run away and get that win very sneakily as I'm explaining. But yeah, like Leon has its perks, for example, is super and Spike super good if you know how to use him properly. But at the end of the day, no one really could beat Nita on this map when playing him properly. Just take out this crow. That's gonna be the end of the second game. So we're gonna go into two more games. I explained the best comp here. You guys kind of saw how to play it. We're just gonna play two more. Or three more, depends how fast they are. We're just going to sweat our way through it, get those Ws, and obviously, let's just keep rocking it, and hopefully we can continue winning. So here we go into the third game, and we're going to be facing Rams. I actually faced him in a tournament yesterday. He gave me the big shot delay, but I think he's going to be the one that suffers from the delay this game. 
So we're gonna be going up against the spike. So let's see if I can prove my point that I said earlier about how Nita is very dominant against spike. I'm just gonna go and help out Brayden take out that Nita, or sorry, that Mortis over there. I don't know why I said Nita. We're one shot to that spike. So hopefully we don't get hit by him. He's gonna go for slash for some reason. Let's see if we can hide over here. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do so. We're probably gonna go down. We are, but you know, the spike didn't. <sighs> It's not really because of the spike. We're already in a bad position. You know, we already took out a mortis. We basically took out a spike too. We're gonna throw the bear behind us. Now, why do we throw a bear behind us? Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I know some people do this all the time. I don't really do it all the time, but it allows you to build up your super and apply like some super, super crazy pressure. Like as you can see, the bear is backing them up. I already got my bear back. So I'm just gonna throw another bear on them right now, basically. Straight away after they're backed up, you know, bam, there's just another bear. Uh, this is not looking good. He's gonna get bats. I was trying to go close to the bear so that I can get the uh, the heal from him when the mortis dashes through and hits the bear, but I didn't get the uh, the heal just because I was standing behind the bear and the penny came in and gave me the big shots. But anyways, we should be able to take out this penny over here. We should help out Brayden a bit, but not go too close because we don't want to feed the mortis bats. Oh, this is a very dangerous situation for us actually right now. He's probably super close to bats. Oh. I don't even think he realized, oh, Brayden got right behind us, that's really unfortunate. But at the end of the day, you know, that's fine, nothing's really going to happen, we're just going to hide over here. Of course, you get hit by that. You just have to watch out for that Mortis, he's really the only big threat to kill us. Oh, and here he is. He's got a super slash, is probably going to be taken out, oh, that's super close. Oh god, I mean, he's not going to escape, but it's just pretty brutal how we can't end this game, so I'm going to go and be super aggro, probably best that I don't hold the gems just because I'm probably the best at being aggro with my brawler. Uh, the Nita bear is gonna push him back, I'm close to another bear so that's super, super good. We're gonna be able to take out this Mortis hopefully, or at least get him super low. I don't know why Slash is standing still, now it's kind of worrying me. It looks like the Mortis might be able to get away actually. Oh, oh, my bear was able to take him out. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the bear is so OP in this map. But yeah, hopefully we can actually end it this time. I'm going to be able to take out the penny over there. We got a bear roaming, so we're not going to throw our bear right now. Raiden is somewhere in the back. Yeah, we, we have this one. That's going to be at the end of this game. Now, third time's a charm. But yeah, there we go. GG's to them. That was a fun game. Let's hop into our fourth and final game, and hopefully we can go 4-0 today. So here we go, we're going to be playing in our fourth and final game here. We picked up Feli the Mortis, and of course, when we have a Mortis on our team, we are facing a bull. Like, what are the odds of that? Like, no one plays Mortis on this map ever. It's super rare, and all of a sudden we're facing a bull. Like, that, that's hilarious. I, I really don't know what Feli's going to be doing this game. I guess I'm going to have to take the bull. There's not much I'm going to be able to do, though. Yeah, like, I could probably focus the ball and maybe I'll be able to get a couple kills. This is going to be a super, super tough matchup for us, to be honest. Now, Brayden's going to have a gem. We're going to throw this back here and just have that 1v1. We know our bear is obviously going to win. Now, we should be able to almost recharge our bear. Oh, Feli, you can't go for a bull and expect to win. Yeah. Oh, get him, get him. Oh, the bear almost was able to get him. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do to be able to get as much damage to kill these guys like this is just dumb there's absolutely nothing we can do i think hopefully we can take out this opposing nita over here we should be able to yeah we're gonna be able to take him out fairly looks like he's kind of going in but he can't do enough damage so there's actually like there's literally nothing at this point that we can do in order to win this game like this is this is just dumb at this point like i don't know why fairly is going for like i really don't know what he's going to get by going for a uh, by going for a bull, I don't know how he's gonna win that. But with that being said, let's see if we can do something here. I really doubt it. Yeah. Well, that was a little bit disappointing for a last game, to be honest. So let's just do one more game. And, you know, this is that was just too disappointing. You know, we can't have that hard counter. It's like 10 L as the last game. You know, that's ridiculous. So we're gonna do one more game. Hopefully, we can win that last one. And yeah, let's get into it. So here we go, hopefully into the final game unless we lose. You know, I, I'm not ending a video on a loss, so hopefully we can win this one. I think we're facing another Mortis. You know, it, what, like, what are these comps? Like, what am I seeing all of a sudden? That I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to end a video and all of a sudden just these super weird comps. You know, we're going to be able to take out this Jesse over here. Hopefully we can also take out that Nita. We're going to be able to do so. 
But there is a Mortis just like roaming our spawn over here. The Night Witch Mortis at that. Let's put these, that bear down. Oh, it's not even going to help. You know, Feli's got to go on the Mortis. You know, he hard counters a Mortis. I don't know why he's not on that lane. Hopefully, I'm going to try switching with him over here. Here we go. Feli's on the right side. He he knows. Feli is an OP player. We're going to be able to take out that Jesse over there. Raiden and Feli just getting hit by those uh, Jesse bounces. We're going to keep a track on this Mortis over here. We're going to be able to get that kill. I'm just going to throw the bear out because why not? Oh, it looks like... Raiden is actually going to go down, so we're actually in a tougher situation than we should be right now. We are going to go down, and all of a sudden we're down 9 nothing. Jeez, I don't, I don't even know what happened. How did both of our teammates die? Well, now it's... Like, what is happening? Alright, we're picking up the gems. All of a sudden, three people died. I mean, I'll take it. That's so odd, though. Holy, we just did a lot of damage. Well... Damn, I guess that's how the game is going to end. I, we didn't even see it. It was probably like a Shedley Super and they were lined up beside each other and then Brayden hit like a penny shot that pierced all of them. But I guess that's it for the last game. So with that being said, and with you guys seeing that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys already know, like, comment, subscribe if you did. And if you didn't, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. But that's it. Again, thank you guys for the 10k. It means a lot. I'll definitely be continuously pushing. Hopefully we can get that 100k soon, you know? But, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the vid and I will be back tomorrow. Peace.